Well, Magoo, are you chilling there in the shade? You, ch you chilling, old guy? Oh, it's getting close to supper time, Magoo. I just finished up with what I'm going to be doing for the day. Ain't much left in Papa. There'll always be enough left in me to get your chow all made up, okay? Whew, I know what you mean, old guy. It's been a long one. Whew. But, let me take a break. Then I'll go in and start chow. What you think? Okie doke. Spooky. You wore out too. Y'all took it out too, boy. Oh, you just sitting there laying in the low sunshine. Soaking up what's left of the rays in the late afternoon in your favorite sand pile. <laughs> oh, he's happy. Whew, I probably look just as bad as he does. Because I was going to take a day off. You know, it's Sunday, Mother's Day. And I do hope you all have had a special one. Uh, with your family, friends, and loved ones. I couldn't celebrate it with my mama. She passed several years back. So, I decided to get some more work done. Yeah, I took the morning off. Y'all stopped by. I wish y'all a happy Mother's Day and hope it was special. Mine's been a special day too. With my spooky helping me out with a big job. Mr. Gray, he just been making sure nobody got in the house, did you, Mr. Gray? Because we've had the doors open. It's been fairly cool. Huh. 73. And a light breeze. <laughs> Mr. Gray's got seasonal allergies <laughs> pollen really messes with them as it does me Whew. excuse me <coughs> excuse me if we're a little tuckered out right spooky because ever since we saw you earlier this morning me and spooky have been getting it yeah but it's going on 530, maybe 6. Really don't matter. The sun's starting to get low in the sky. And I'm just running on E. And that don't mean energy. That means empty. <laughs> uh, but once I take a little breather here and break and enjoy some of my high C, Barry, in my oh recyclable Gatorade Zero jug, we'll be back, and I'll show you what we've been up to on our Sunday, Mother's Day, 2022. Well, there you go, guys. I got you a little bit of brand new, fresh kit and caboodle that your viewers sent you. Yeah, your fans. So, Cleo, you can quit growling. Spooky. You can eat out of the little cup. <laughs> Feel like you're special. Mr. Gray's had all he wants. And Lily Bit, she's just checking to make sure they're not getting anything special. Right, Lily Bit? She's right inside the screen. But I told you, I'd show you what I was up to this Sunday. So. Why I still got a little bit of get up and go. And you can see the shadows are getting long. They surely are. Pretty much the entire south lawn, all the way to the shop, is now in the shade. And you're going to see there's a little bit of difference to the front of the shop. Yep, it was mostly cleared off. But we needed to start on the west side. 
And that's what Spooky and I took on today. Yep. We went ahead and started bringing down all that. Oh, vines. There was a huge Chinese privet in there. And that's what's all cut up here. Nothing but privet. There's a little bit of hackberry there. That's this right here. Now I know in the shadows the lighting's not so great. It is what it is. Oh, I didn't realize that, that Chinese privet had grown so tall it had went all the way up. It was probably 30 feet tall. Of course, still got to bring down that first uh, tree there. That's popcorn tree, Chinese tallow. Come on, Spooky. You can be over here, too. Uh-oh. Crow like to got him. <laughs> He's been trying to get the crow. Now the crow's trying to get him. <laughs> oh, that was special. Whew. But I've just been slowly chipping away with it all day, mean spooky. And uh till my uh battery powered black and decker reciprocating saw. Uh, ran out of charge three batteries and I used them all you can see just from everything laying around here there's a pile of stuff cut down and like I'm saying it's primarily from that there Chinese privet that had grown so massive which is right here you can st I didn't get all the stump cut down yet to ground level because here again all my batteries are dead. They'll have to charge overnight. But boy, I'm going to tell you what. You know, for cutting down smaller stuff, uh, anything up to, oh, I would say five inches, that their uh, reciprocating saw works really nice. You know, as we get older, we lose our arm strength and some of our hand strength. You know we all do. I'm not going to be the manly man, I'll tell you like it is. That's part of getting old. And it's hard to keep a hold of a chainsaw anymore. I admit it. And they're super dangerous. So, Spooky got me one of those there Black & Decker reciprocating saws for Christmas. As a surprise. And he thought it would work out really nice. Trimming branches and cutting down brush. He knew what we were going to be doing this year, didn't you, Spooky? You knew. But, uh, you know, once it gets all charged back up my batteries, I'll come out here and cut this off lower to the ground. This is the stump for that massive Chinese privet, what is privet hedge to many people. But I, like I've said a million times, it becomes super invasive in the South it grows to some amazing sizes. I'm telling you, this was just as high as this tree right here. It went all the way up into the upper story and I had to drag it down. And there's some of it right there. Couldn't get it down. The vines, the green briar and everything, we've got it all tangled up in the branches of the next Chinese privet that's got to come down. As well as these two hackberries that go up about, oh, 80 feet. <laughs> Probably gonna need a little help on them. I don't know. Cleo, you here uh, checking out, supervising? Are you supervising my queen? Huh? Are we doing it okay? Everything copacetic with you? 
Could I get a raise, Cleo? In my allowance? <laughs> I can't. And neither can Spooky, huh? You're such a curmudgeon, Cleo. Spooky's worked hard all day. You should give him a break. So, yep, we'll get the rest of that Chinese privet cut down. We'll cut those uh, remaining green briar and Virginia creeper vines off the wall. And then we'll head on down here and we'll start on this big old Chinese privet. And these two smaller hackberries. Well, there's three. We'll get them all down along with all these vines all the way to the oh east end and uh all this will go i got a window repair there and we'll get all that cleared out so we can uh safely drop these two uh sizable hackberry trees and that hackberry wood i'm not sure what it's good for but i know that stuff is super hard we're just going to back up up here. Yep, there's some more. See? Look at the pretty blossoms. And they they smell so sweet. That's what's got me and Mr. Gray. <coughs> All <coughs> snuffled up. Whew. And if you look... You still can barely see the tops. You know, maybe they're 60 feet. That's still a lot of tree to come down. I'll probably get Doug and some of his crew over here to help me when we bring those two trees down. I'm thinking, unless Spooky and Cleo come up with a plan. But, you know, with tackling this today by myself, and Spooky, of course, with Cleo supervising, it brings something to mind that I was thinking of earlier today many times. And you've probably heard the saying, how do you eat an elephant? Well, one bite at a time. And that's how I went after this project today. And if you want to see, you know, what it looked like prior, I'll drop a little short clip in right now and let you see it. Of course, if you've been keeping track with the progress of what we're doing this year, clearing a lot of this property back off, so it'll be, you know, oh, like a park light setting again, then you already know how deep and dark and thick it was there on the north side of the shop. I mean, you could, you could barely see that side of the shop. You had to look really hard. But you can plainly see it now. Did we do good, Cleo? Did we got you, Spooky and I got your approval? Hmm. We do? I really do appreciate you telling me I did a good job. Now, go over there and tell Spooky he did a good job, too. I think you hurt his feelings. No. no. Why are you going to swap me? Huh? I love you just as much as I love Spooky. You could have come over and helped me. <laughs> you just, I think you just want to play. Except you play so mean. You do. <laughs> I'll, I'll tickle your belly. I'll tickle your belly. Look at that belly. Ow! Whew, her claws are like needles. Ah, I don't know where my buddy Spooky went. Oh, he's hiding. He's hiding in the remnants 
of the privet and the hackberry. You hiding from Cleo? Or are you waiting to pounce? I see you, Spooky. I think he's just waiting for Cleo to get close. I don't need to give his position away. Because he gets mad. Okay, Spooky, I see you. Yep, he's waiting. He's keeping a close eye on Cleo. Ah. And there's my little Speedy, my princess, of course. You see Mr. Gray? He's coming up from behind. Yesterday, I had them all out here with me, trailing behind. Of course, Spooky was right at my feet. Cleo was a foot or two behind. Speedy was bringing up the mid area. Mr. Gray, which is now going to go and lay down underneath the holly, was bringing up the rear. And then further down, there was Magoo. It's like old time. <laughs> And I didn't have the camera. <laughs> you know, but I had it today. When that crow swooped down to get payback on Spooky. Hopefully y'all caught it. Because it went by really fast. Well guys, we're going to head her on in. Whew, Papa's got to make him something. And put something together for Gracie in a little bit. And for y'all. It's Sunday, of course. Hey, Cleo. I forgot. And I'm sorry. I know why you're irritated now. Didn't we tell you Happy Mother's Day to your mommy? In fact, you're the only mommy I got now. So Happy Mother's Day, Cleo. And guess what? I think I got a chicken tender left just for you <laughs> oh well i'm thinking and if i don't it's only five minutes to jack's and it's mother's day and cleo has been a good mommy even though she's a jealous person or kitty she's got to be the clean queen whenever papa's around well, I'm going to have to let you all go. And like I said, I hope your day was special. Celebrating it with your mothers. And for you mothers out there, I hope your day was wonderful. And your friends, family, and loved ones made your day a special one too. Mine's been special with my kitty crew here getting her done but we're gonna call this one finish for the day and we're gonna walk her on in and supper tonight for me ain't gonna be nothing fantastic i'm thinking hot dogs <laughs> where you going magoo you gonna go over there and hang out with the neighbors, okay. He loves it over there too, and, and they treat him well. Oh. But I think you got to see everybody today. Well, didn't get to see Gracie. She was holding down the rug in front of the stove. She knows what time it is. But until I, Spooky, Speedy, Cleo, Mr. Gray, Magoo out there, sometimes Elrod and Heathcliff, and Gracie in a little bit too. See you on the next video. Take care, stay safe, and God bless you as you bless others. Goodbye for now. Magoo, I'm going in to fix chow. I'm thinking friskies, shreds tonight, but I'll, I'll make it a surprise, okay? It's Sunday.
<laughs> yeah, they're spoiled. But they're my babies. They're my children. Later on. <laughs>